Welcome back to Metroid Prime. Well, uh, we've gotten a lot of missiles last episode. You love it? Yeah, you, you love to see it. We're, we're good and powerful, but we got some scan data coming in. The fluid patterns have been analyzed, and ah, there's a lot of toxins in here. Where are they coming from? Here in the sun chamber. Oh my god, we found Reddit. We oh wait, no, that's a sun chamber. They don't see sunlight. We may have known this already, but... Uh... <laughs> so, uh, yeah, all, all this hurdy, toxic water, that's coming from somewhere. Ooh, so we can get rid of it. We gotta get rid of it, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I gotta make my way back. Uh, no. It's a lot of ah. odd plant life. Got some more runic symbols to scan here to open up another, uh, another door. I Here's like the that. the first one. War wasp hive right there. Okay. Okay. That's second one. Just dive head first into the toxic water. What's the worst that could happen? We take damage. Oh. And, it, and it makes That's a loud, nothing. loud, irritating noise. Oh, oh, that is true. The the second one. That All of this be. hopefully to unlock the door to the oh, boss? Question mark. This is why we need the bomb to come through here. Okay. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, uh, there we go. I like right. the spun same as like a marble. <laughs> Where's that third one? Oh, there's a hive right there. It's doing a little clean up. Just a bit, just a bit. Anything over here? Where was it? Yeah. Uh, I was... There yeah. it is. Okay, there we go. <laughs> right, that was on, it's on this step right here. You, you know, I kind of like that the scan data kind of pr protrudes out. That way you don't have to be directly on it. I like it a lot better in Metroid Prime 2 and 3 when they don't have these symbols. They're like, you know, color-coded. It looks a lot cleaner and a lot better. It, can also, it also shows you what you've already scanned, what is something new, and what is just... Uh, like, what can be added to your logbook, what's just something to scan, and what you haven't scanned yet. Nice. We haven't scanned these guys yet? This, this is venom weed. This is the tango weed that hurts. Because they got little red marks on top that are like... Oh. They, they have toxins in them. Now, why would Samus succumb to toxins if she has the, the metal suit on? You're hearing succumb to toxins and you're thinking the worst. That means they hurt, not because they like, you know, Oh! Toxins! <laughs> I am poisoned and dead now! My blood is too toxic! Or maybe it's just like, like getting an irritating rash or something like that. That would suck. Well, uh, you've mentioned a boss. Oh, I was right! Oh, well, yeah, it's it's not gonna be like, Well, I turned off the switch that made all the poison happen! Everything's fine! I was just waiting for that to happen, you know, like, you pull the switch, and you know, oh, everything's fine! And then the boss shows up. So none of that subverting expectation stuff. Fight first, get clean water later. Alright, max health. Max missiles, we're ready to go. Oh yeah, I remember this. Hmm. Introducing Flagra. Yeah. Oh god. But Flagra, yeah, somehow is weak to light. No way, light makes it stronger. Of course it does. It's a plant. In fact, it gets all of its strength from the sun. Of course it does. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Uh, uh, gotta scan you there first, go. I gotta get, gotta get your health bar to appear. All right. Nice, nice freeze frame, nice freeze frame. It's the source of the toxic water in the ruins. Ugh. Its cycle has been radically accelerated as a return. I wonder by what? <laughs> hmm. Uh-oh. Hmm. I wonder by what? A little bit of intrigue. Probably, yes, intrigue is what made it grow. So we can shoot it a whole bunch, but it's not really gonna do much of anything, really. Well, you managed to piss it off a little bit. That's that's fun. So we piss it off, shoot the mirror so it goes up. It cuts off its power source, oh, so that way it hurts that much more and it stays weak. Oh, I like this. Yeah, go get it. There you go. In through here. Now blow it up. Oh, you set it on fire. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's it's gone. Yes, it's dead now. We have killed it. And then it gets hit uh, by yeah, another mirror, yeah. and then I live! Who's the wise guy pushing these back, ah! huh? 
who's the guy in the chair just going, uh oh. Uh, click, 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 click. Okay, there we go. Right. Prop another missable thing here. You gotta scan one of its tentacles. One of Flagger's tentacles fills this drainage channel. So basically, uh, you can't just ball roll in there. You gotta weaken him, cut off the power source, and then go. I wonder how speedruns deal with annoying bosses like this that take a really long time. They probably got some sort of uh, technique or whatever. See that or sequence breaking. Now you can shoot the mirrors and uh, cut off pre prematurely, but he's a smarty. He will try and knock them back. So you have, yeah, you have to piss him off in order for him to uh, to not actually put the mirrors back. Okay, there's the second one. He's he's doing the song and dance again. In terms of subverting expectations, there are, it's of course not a three, but a four because one, two, three. three. I was waiting for the last one to fake you out. <laughs> they didn't four. put the, they didn't put that fourth one in there just for decoration. Well, they did put it in there for decoration, but it also <laughs> serves a purpose. Does the charge beam automatically put those things back up? I think just enough shots. Okay, so you can't, like, shoot a missile at this and make it go any faster? Nah. Probably make it hurt a little bit more, but... God, I knew they were making an evolution for Scyther, but I didn't know it would look like this. It's just a giant plant. There we go. And in through here. Please accept this bomb. This seems pretty cut and dry. Where's the catch? We're powerful. Oh, okay. One, One, two, two three, he's already back and ready to go again. Four. Here, here is your catch. It's tough if you don't have enough missiles. It's tough if you don't have enough E-tanks, because that kind of hurts a bit. Wow, yeah, it did. Sorry, I just saw your life bar drain. Not only that, but, uh, I mean... Yeah, one one charge beam could probably set that mirror up just you know just right, but it takes a few power beam shots to like put like you need to like push it a bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're already massively tapping buttons in order to you know, make to hit this thing. So so I'm in the zone here. Yeah, it's good. It's also like a limited amount of time for you to go to the specific thing. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Here we go. And got him. Easy. That wasn't too bad. Easy every time. That is a disgusting, like, grass mantis thing. I don't like it. Well, all the shitty poo water isn't gonna be a problem anymore. Because now it's turned <gasps> oh, to real water! The clean spring. Oh, I thought that was, like, its hand just going... Nah! Maybe it was. In a metaphorical sense. Look at that giant burnt plant. So, yes. We have now. Oh, we have uh, put the. Well, we've we've removed the poison from the water, and now if we go into the water, it won't poison us anymore. Oh, that makes sense. So there's still poisonous water elsewhere, just not right here. If there is, it's not affected that. But I think all the poison water in the in the ruins are now are now gone. Awesome. Time to become a magical girl and transform. It's time to almost be back at full strength when we started the game. Wow, only four episodes in. I think the only thing we're missing now is the grapple beam, which we won't get for a long while yet. We got the shoulder pads back, baby! More like we got shoulder pads and we got heat protection. Oh, finally! Heat protection! Heat protection! That means we're going to a new area! Oh, good. Does anything else happen with the various suit? Uh, so, no more poison damage, no more heat damage. Well, not we. Well, there's no more poison damage because there's no more poison. Oh. Well, we, st we still take heat damage. I mean, like you know, fire and lava can still hurt us. Right. But just not like hot rooms. We, you know, like contextual heat won't bother us anymore. Gotcha. It's like, whoa, this, this area is too yeah. hot. You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna burn alive. This area is too cold. No, that's uh, a. <laughs> that's Metroid Fusion. Oh. There's a there's a scan over there. Yeah. See. Water is free, free of poison. poison. So you can walk around and do all this and be just fine. Oh, there's underwater segments? Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot about that. And you, you, I can't get out. I can't get yeah. out. This is like a nightmare of mine. Need, need the gravity suit, though. Ah, here we go. 
<laughs> you know, I'm always wondering how much the suit weighs. Oh, gotta scan this. Oh, oh more health? These are ultra energies. A hundred units. I mean, if you didn't suck at the game, you probably would never find those. You're probably hurting after that uh, flyer battle, though. Definitely. This over here is a uh, new enemy. This is called a, a neutron. It's a pulse bamboo. They can only be hurt with electrical energy. Power beams don't work. Missiles don't work. Only, uh, as far as I can tell, a certain beam. You charge up, it'll actually come towards you. It sees that sweet, sweet energy source. Hmm, this looks like a point of no return here, because if I want to get back up, I'm going to have to need the magnetic rail. Well, uh, let's take the plunge! Yeah! yeah, no fall damage. Oh, there's beehives everywhere. Get rid of that one, and, uh, shit, shit, fucking god, gee, god. Will you just get away? All right, stop. Stop, all right. Then get that one. And then that one. And then that one. Swatting bees with a newspaper. No! Got it. Jeez. A lot of things to scan here. Yeah, up there. Just get, if I can just... Right there. Oh my god. These little flying things up here. We'll get a better look later. But these Oculus. are Oculus. Oculi! Hmm. Just, just, just giant eyeballs. Eye things that crawl on the wall. Maybe it goes hard than when you get too close. So you can't like destroy it. And some more lore. Mortal living things feel strange to us, we who have existed so long on the edges of time and space. We can never return to our dimension, not when the great poison reaches ever further into the planet. Yes, this uh, great poison is just fuck up the planet, and we gotta... We, we, we gotta contain this somehow. We gotta put something to keep it in here so it doesn't spread anywhere else. We gotta make it so that way stupid dumb space pirates come here, so that way they don't get in and start taking it. Wait. Or taking more They're of it. already taking it! On oh. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's leaking? Is that it? Well, maybe they just blew a hole in the source and it's oh. just leaking every. Oh, it's all over my shoes. I think I think we're we're witnessing a bad problem getting worse. We got here just in time. <laughs> well, now moving on to a new area, Magmore, Magmore Caverns. Caverns. We have the various suits we can survive in this uh, lava e place. Every time we mention the various suit, I keep thinking you're saying various suit. The yeah, various suits, you mm -hmm. know, uh, one for evening, uh, one for one for business meetings, and one for fun weekends with the kids. That one for the inevitable divorce. <laughs> oh no, she's wearing her divorce suit. The poor soul. And here is like yeah, yeah there it is. So I, got, I got the map here. There's like. Let's see. Probably like five save stations. There are two. Oh. There are two save stations. That seems low. Yes, it is low. All right, well. Yeah. There is only two. At the very tip, right here, and at the very bottom, basically. Well, get good, scrub. They're, they're unforgiving and save points. Well, that's good. Keeps you on your toes. Oh, he was just doing his thing. Well, I'm doing my thing, too. You blew him up. That's what I do. Didn't even get a chance to defend himself with his carapace. You're just like, nah, how about you die? So you can have the very suit all you want, but uh, if you fall in the lava, it's going to start hurting and you can't really move too well. So uh, try not to fall in the lava. Okay. Pro tip. Got another creature here. This one's a burrower. Of all the things we've ever said as advice in Let's Plays, don't fall in the hurdy juice. We've come to this. <laughs> What's your favorite flavor of hurdy juice? Oh, I, I love the red kind. You know, it's kind of a tropical fruit punch mixed with magma. I like bright pink hurdy juice. Oh, yeah. What was that strawberry lemonade? I mean, it, your your eye is drawn to it, mm -hmm. so you you see it, but it looks like bubbly, and you know it's kind of like glowing mm -hmm. a little bit too. So it's like that's probably death. And then you touch it, and well, hey, Ooh. look at that! I can only count to nine. 
All right, a couple of things to scan here. Uh, first one is this big thing. I don't the, like that thing. This is the eponymous Magmores. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't know that. See, it's called Magmore Cavern because these are caverns that have a lot of magma. You see, you see, it's all it. it's all interconnected. The biology of this planet is deep, rich, and complex. Now, who was the unfortunate sucker who not only came down here, but found those things that was just like, oh, there's too many of these things around here. Let's just name this cavern after him. Get the fuck out of here. Some poor Chozo soul. These yeah, are, we probably saw his bones at the beginning of this. These are puffers. These, these are uh, when the game designers want to get mean. It's like, haha, here are these floating things that can hurt you if you touch them. And then you blow them up and you gotta wait for a few seconds because they leave toxic gas that can also hurt you. Uh, uh, and sinking, these are sinking uh, platforms! Sinking, yeah, sinking. yeah, yeah! Whew. All right. All right, that happens. Oh, excellent. We've got some platforming yep. in this Metroid Another game. Another Keep them up. Ow, ow. <laughs> Everything hurts. It's all going wrong. It took 20 health for me. I just touched it. Damn, some potent gas. Ah, there. It's a little unclear to see, but you blow those up with bombs. I think if you scan them, it would have said that. They blend in so well. They do. Now, is this playing the uh, Norfair theme? Yes. Da, 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 I love it. Da, 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 da. I'm waiting for a dev to come out and say, Hey, so Nintendo said we could use Metroid. Nintendo said we could use the music. But they said you have to make new areas. It's like, cool. We can do that. Nintendo let them do whatever they wanted, because they don't know what to do with Metroid. After Super Metroid, they were like, Yeah! Uh, next mission! Whatever that is. These are Triclops. They're annoying as fuck. Because oh, they, yeah, they they'll grab you, the drag you to the beginning, no matter where you are, and then be like, and just just kick you in the booty on the way out. And their grab is ridiculous. I mean, for real. At least they suck in the bombs, that's pretty nice. So the idea is you gotta just, when you see them, spam bombs and hope that they run into one of them. Because you know how, you know, you're not within arm's reach of me yeah. right now? Yeah. I can grab you. You will, you will just get Basically. sucked right into them. Basically a melee Marth grab. Yeah. From across, from across the way, downtown. That's probably where he got it from. <laughs> Marth probably saw these little triclops and he's like, "So no grab eat this ne." And then proceeded to grab somebody from across the stage. Huh? And then my soda. <laughs> God, what a great power! <sighs> delicious. How do you say delicious in Japanese? Oishi. Oh, that was a really quick answer. You were a Japanese major, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Retro Studios, they're uh, they're American based, right? Uh Texas, yes. Texas, okay. See, I, I love hearing the story, and eventually this will become, you know, common knowledge when Metroid Prime 4 comes out. But hearing that Nintendo of Japan tried to do Metroid Prime 4. And when they couldn't figure it out, they called up Retro and said, Hey, can you fix this? Another missile expansion, yay. That, to me... It says a lot about the quality of these games and that everybody loved them. But it also says that Nintendo really doesn't know what to do with Metroid. Well, but I think they finally found it when Dread got me. See, you, you gotta find developers who know what to do with Metroid. When, when they hired Mercury Steam, they do what the hell to do with Metroid. They did. They did a great job. Mm -hmm. They Agreed. saw. They saw what they did with Mirror of Fate, and they're like, "Hey, hmm. why don't you come and make a Metroid game for us? Can it be fusion? No, 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 no. no. But you can go with two. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. Well, All I'd right. like to say that's that's the equivalent of like grunt work. It's like, oh, hey, if you do this, if you do good here, we'll let you make your own. And they they did great with Dread. I mean, they tried to do Dread like three times already, and it failed every single time. And then when they do hire a Japanese company to help make a Metroid game, they make Mother M, which isn't even a <laughs> fucking Metroid game. Well, that was that had the unfortunate oversight of Itagaki-san. So, well, Itagaki wasn't involved. Oh shit, that's right. It was just Team Ninja. This is all Yoshio Sakamoto's oh, weird no. idea. I thought I had a scapegoat. That, nope, nope. Damn it. I mean, you can blame Team Ninja for some things, like how Madeline Bergman was, but. but, but <laughs> 
the <laughs> shitty story? The terrible gameplay? <laughs> Yoshio Sakamoto's no, no. seal of approval oh, has been God. given. <laughs> this, however, only had like, you know, more of a consulting uh, thing from Sakamoto. He was he was ah. way he was way more involved with other M though. But uh, w with this and with uh, Samus Returns and Dread, you had Mercury Steam and Retro Studios who knew what they wanted to do. Oh, oh they had, okay. They had, they had a great idea on how to how, that, how to go with Metroid. From from the way you worded it, I thought you said they like compared notes, like oh, Retro no, no, no. and Mercury Steam. And we're like, hey, hey, do you, do you think this would be a good idea? Like co-oping developers. No, 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 no. no. Okay. They, they had they had an exact idea, and it's like, all right, here's what the game should be like. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's how we're gonna we're gonna mix it up, and here's what the world's gonna be like. But the Japanese devs, when they made Other M, I think their priorities were a little bit different. They didn't. I don't think they quite know what Metroid was supposed to be. The thing is, you don't need a lot for a Metroid nope, nope, story. No, 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 Everything is bad. No, 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 Shit! God damn it! Dog, uh, take that. That's the equivalent of Sakamoto throwing out all the previous revisions, and then Team Ninja was like, "Let's fix this story." Oh, okay. Sorry, Sakamoto-san. I know you helped a lot on Metroid Dread, and it was really good. You, you, you did great on making that come to life. But don't, come, come don't on. ever write a story yeah, again, come okay? On. We're allowed to dunk on it. Okay. I, mean, I, I can dunk on other. Devs round. can be dunked on. I can dunk on other. Round. Just don't like threaten them or anything. You can dunk on them, especially if they make dumb decisions. People take it too far. Sometimes. Yeah, don't, don't go too far. Oh, this looks fun. Yeah. This, it's very, just, ooh, ee, yeah. Uh, ooh. I, I can could, I could see you ee, tensing, ee. actually. Yeah. Just like, oh. eh, eh, eh. What would be worse is if it started breaking away. Yeah. Just a little, just a little. And there we go. All of that for a missile tank. It won't be the last time that we have to do something like that. Death-defying stunts. All right, a little bit of backtracking. Uh, that was just to get a missile expansion, but uh, now we're heading to another new area. Damn. Yeah. I know, right? Does this one have lava too? Uh, no. Red hurdy juice? Uh, no. It's, well, then it's, what's the point? It's it, it's an ice place, you see. Oh. Oh, fire and ice. Perfect. There's your episode title. No, don't use that. That's overly used. Ice and fire! There we go. <laughs> ice first. It's a song of ice and fire. Hmm. It doesn't have quite the good ring to it. A song of ice and fire doesn't have quite a good ring to it? Never mind. You know what that is? Yeah. That's Game of the Rings or something, I forgot. It's, uh, Game of the Rings starring the Bailey school kids. I don't know. Wasn't that a Polish thing? <laughs> Boy, that was the Hexer. <laughs> the original Polish title of The Witcher! <laughs> Sherlock Thrones. <laughs> it's like, well, I would love to help you, uh, but uh, it appears that Dr. Watson is dead. I shall celebrate by having sex with my own sister or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't read Game of Thrones. I don't watch it. Ah, Holmes, winter is coming. <laughs> the only the only George R. R. Martin reference that I can give you is just Elden, Elden Ring. Ring. <laughs> ah, rise ye, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> it works. Watson, <laughs> the hated dung eater. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> The most sophisticated Elden Ring way of saying "eat shit, loser." <laughs> Ooh, a little computer station here in the middle of an active volcano. Yeah, the pirates have been working here. I think they've been mining here. Oh, why? Because they're just finding shit. Probably finding more things to blow up and, and oh, fuck up that's and shit. Mean. That right. is so mean. All right, here we go. Ah! This, up, this up there, that is a big bomb jump. Uh, it, it, it's another uh, bomb jump test. Mm -hmm. Slightly easier on on uh, later releases because of the bomb, the uh, ball jumping ability. But here, you got to do it right. Not one. Oh, oh my God, fuck. so close. We got it. 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 Check it. All right, we're gonna do this. I remember you showing me this footage as a tester. Here we go. Hup. Bip. Up. Bip. No. Uh, Ow. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 We're, we're, we're gonna do this, okay? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be done. Yeah, right here. First try. Right here. First, First try. try, now that I'm trying. It wasn't a Bam, try. Ran right First, there. First okay, try. one. Then you gotta do it a second time. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. yeah. Good. Now you gotta do it a third time. What the fuck? You gotta do it a third time. All three yeah! 
Simple every time. Fortunately, though, if you mess up the second or third times, you don't take damage. Because oh. you will fall immediately to one of those. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah. That's that's a tough one. That's a toughie. But it was all worth it for an E-Tank. That's going to help us a lot in this uh, Ooh, Fendrina. increasingly difficult next portion. Or Fendrana Drifts. I remember really liking this area, just because I'm... I'm a just fan of snow levels. Because it's a bit more open than uh, Magmore Caverns yeah. was. And there aren't giant fire snakes trying to kill me. No, it's just, uh... Cold. Baby ice demons. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there, there we go. go. All right. I'm here! Wow, dun, that was... Dun, that was dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Samus 316 has walked into the <laughs> Oh my god! She's coming off the top ropes! <laughs> oh yeah, I remember this stage. And that's the bottom line, cause Samus Aaron <laughs> said so! God, she's stone cold. Ooh, yeah, look at this. Yeah, this is a, so pretty. This is a lovely area. You got some uh, things that's oh. gonna be a little difficult to find. We can scan it, maybe we're quick for quick. Got it. This here are flicker bats. They just kind of fly around and uh, give you trouble when you're trying to get up there. Hmm. Just kind of like, huh? You think you'd have a good time with the platforming? Ha! Huh, guess not. Ha 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 ha! Gotcha! Just start pushing you around Ow, a little bit. Ow, stop! stop it! Quit! See, I was thinking the, these on. are the type of bats that don't bite. They just they just come over and. Ow! God! <laughs> stop! Stop it, you dick! <laughs> Well, this is the world we've unlocked so Holy far. Holy crap! Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot. Yeah, make, making progress, but it's still so early. Aw, this is like a little bird mite. These are crystal lights. Oh. Basically, ice versions of uh, impenetrable shell enemies in other regions. And a very refreshing beverage. The only thing that can kill these things are missile blasts. Oh well, yeah, they got a hard outer shell to save their buggy interior. Boom! Ah. Ah, uh, little chunks that Yeah, that, that explosion. That's lovely. It was great. That's lovely. Well. Damn, we actually did a lot. We made some, we made some progress. Yeah. I, feel, I feel good after getting all those uh, expansion packs early. Ooh, happy about that. Feel, yeah. feel powerful. I can blow anything up with, with my <laughs> missiles. And I got them all back, too. Feeling good. Feeling good. Well. Next time on Metroid Prime, looking ahead, oh, we got, oh, we're going to be going all over the place. Wow. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, it's going to be a time. We'll see you then.